Hi everyone, welcome to Narish Technologies. This is Srinivas. So, today we are going to discuss about a nested while loop in C language. Nested while loop. So, first of all, so what is a nested while? What is nested while? So, very simple writing while loop, writing while loop inside another while loop inside another while loop is called nested while loop defining one while loop inside another while loop is called nested while see the syntax is the syntax observe while this is outer while loop so, in the outer while loop, we are writing outer condition, outer condition and inside we are writing another while loop and here it is we are writing inner condition we are writing, inner condition, this is while loop. Sir, where we can write the statements everywhere, for example, here you can write a outer while statements outer while statements you can write here and inside the inner while loop you can write a inner while statements inner while statements and here it is outside to inner while loop here you can write outer while statements outer while statements you can write so this is the syntax of nested while loop this is outer while loop and this is inner while loop outer while loop executes based on outer condition inner while loop executes based on inner condition right then how it executes how it executes means first it will check outer condition sir suppose if outer condition has failed then it will terminate Suppose if outer condition is a true, right? So then the control move inside. It will print outer while loop statements first. It will execute outer while loop statements, and next it will check the inner condition. Sir, if inner condition is also true, the control move inside. It will execute inner while loop statements. After execution of inner while loop statements, then it will check inner condition only what it will check it will check inner while loop condition because it is a loop as long as the condition is a true it will repeat here only sir suppose once again inner condition is a true yes the control move inside move inside it will print again it will check so here only it will repeat the control will check and execute, check and execute. Sir, suppose if inner while loop failed, then the control come out of the inner while loop. It will execute outer while statements. Sir, is it end? No. Once it reaches, again it will go and check outer while loop. If outer condition is a true, again the control move inside. Same story right here it is it will execute sir when the program will terminate means only if outer while condition has failed by that time only then while loop will be terminated if inner while condition has failed it will continue with the remaining outer while statement execution and uh, once again it will go and check outer while loop this is a syntax of nested while loop now, I will explain the flow of nested while loop C. Here, this is the flow of nested while flow. So, what is the flow? First, start, start. It will check outer while loop first. It will check outer while. This is outer condition outer condition sir if outer condition has failed then the control move to end this is end start and end we are representing with the help of parallelogram if outer condition 
has failed if it is a false then control directly come to end. Sir, suppose if outer condition is a true, if outer condition is a true what it will execute? Outer while statements it will execute first. This is outer while statements, outer while statements execute. And next after execution of outer while statement what it will check? Inner condition it will check. So, here inner condition it will check. Sir, for inner condition also true and false is present. Yes. Suppose if inner condition is also true, if inner condition is also true, inner while loop statements execute. Here this is inner while loop statements. After executing inner while loop statements sir, what will happen? It will repeat here only. Again it will go and check the condition. Here it will go and check the condition once again. Again it will check inner condition is a true or false. If it is a true again it will repeat. Here only the loop will repeat. Sir, when it will fail? If inner condition is false, if inner condition is false then remaining outer while loop statements execute, remaining outer while loop statements execute. These are outer while statements. After execution of outer while loop statements then what will happen? Again it reaches end, again it will go and check outer condition. So, here this is checking outer condition. So, this is the syntax of nested while and this is the flow of nested while. Flow charts very very important right. So, this is a flow right. Now, we will see one example right that how a nested while loop executes. So, now see the example right how a nested while loop executes one example main main I am declaring two variables for example, i value is a 0, i value 0 comma j value 0. So, we are writing outer while loop, outer while loop plus plus i is less than or equals to 5 inside while loop plus plus j is less than or equals to 5 inside we are printing j value percentage d j value outside also we are printing j value only not the i value j value we are printing j value how it executes right see first i value is 0 the control come to here plus plus i that is i value become 1, 1 is less than or equals to 5 condition true. Next the control come inside plus plus j, j value 1, 1 is less than or equals to 5 condition true. Come inside it will print the j value. So, what is the j value by that time 1? So, in the output it will print 1. Next after execution of this it will repeat inner while loop only it will repeat inner while loop. Next the j value become 2, it will become 2 condition true come inside it will print j value 2. Next again it will repeat it will become 3 condition true it will print 3. Next it will become 4 condition true it will print 4. Next it is a 5 it will store 5 condition true next it will become 6 whenever we are writing 6 6 is less than or equals to 5 condition false then inner while loop terminates the control come out of the loop it will print the j value what is the j value here 6 so it will print 6 after printing now it will check outer while condition 
it will check outer while condition plus plus i i value become 2 2 is less than or equals to 5 come inside plus plus j so j value become 7 j value become 7 7 is less than or equals to 5 condition false while loop will be terminated come outside it will print the j value 7 next again it will repeat outer loop here it is i value become 3 3 is less than or equals to 5 condition true come inside plus plus j j value become 8 8 is less than or equals to 5 condition false come out and it will print j value only 8 next again it will repeat right outer loop i value become 4 condition true and here it is a j value become 9 condition false but come out of that it will print the j value 9 next outer loop i value become 5 5 is less than or equals to 5 condition true come inside plus plus j j value become 10 condition true come outside it will print the j value 10 next outer loop i value become 6 now see 6 is less than or equals to 5 condition false now the program terminates so what is the output 1 to 10 it will print this is how right nested while loop executes okay so we'll see one more example see the example here main main i'm declaring two variables i value 0 j value 0 once again while but here now i am taking post increment value i plus plus is less than or equals to 3 and inside while while here it is j plus plus is less than or equals to 3 i am not writing anything inside just empty but at the end of the outer while loop we are printing the final ij values final ij values we are printing i value and j value a simple program how it executes it's a post increment so pre increment means what first increases and substitutes post increments means what first substitutes and then increase now the post increment means first zero will be substituted later the value become one but it will check the condition with the substituted value only what is the substituted value zero condition true come inside j plus plus means what it will substitute zero but the value become one empty body but it will repeat with empty body only it will execute next uh, j value is a one one substitute but the value become two condition true next uh, it will substitute two value become three two is less than or equals to three condition true next it will substitute 3 value become 4 but here it is a value 3 is less than or equals to 3 condition true next it will substitute 4 value become 5 4 is less than or equals to 3 condition false so come out come out now outer while loop repetition i plus plus i value it will substitute 1 value become 2 condition true come inside j value it will substitute 5 value become 6 condition false again it will repeat it will substitute 2 value become 3 next come inside it will substitute j value 6 but after substitution j value become 7 next it will repeat it will substitute i value 3 but after substitution value become 4 but see 3 is less than or equals to 3 condition true come inside it will substitute 7 value become 8 next again it will repeat it will substitute 4 value become 5 4 is less than or equals to 3 condition false if outer while loop has failed then completely the while loop terminates so what are the values of i and j finally so final i value is a 5 
final j value is a 8. So, we should take care of that post increment execution and pre increment execution. Once again, pre increment means right first it will increase and then substitute. If it is a post increment means what? First substitute and then increase that is the difference. So, final output is a 5 and 8. So, this is exactly how nested while loop will execute. Okay. In the next session, we will see how a for loop executes. Okay. So, I hope you will enjoy this video. For more videos, please subscribe to Naresh IT channel. Thank you.